Today, I'll show you 10 tips and tricks that you can use with Netflix. You Netflix experts out there may already know some or most of these tips. For everybody else, these are tips every user should know about to get the most out of their Netflix subscription. That's coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Number one, create multiple profiles. It's always a good idea to create multiple profiles on your Netflix account. If you live with multiple people, you don't want them to impact your future recommendations. Also, having multiple profiles allows for the separating of the programming you like to watch. You're allowed up to five profiles, so here's how you do it. Hover over your username in the upper right-hand corner. Select Manage Profiles. Then select Add Profile. Put in the name of your new profile. So we'll just name a channel for just really bad movies. So we'll call it So Bad It's Good. When you're done, hit continue. If you want to change the avatar, hover over the new profile, select it. Select the edit icon over the avatar, and then select your new avatar. Then click save. And then select done. Now you've added a new profile to your Netflix account. Number two, remove content from viewing history. I would also recommend removing shows from your viewing history that you didn't like, so they also don't influence recommendations on your homepage of Netflix. Once again, hover over your profile, select your account, select viewing activity, then click on the X to the far right of each show or movie to remove them from your viewing history. Then select done. Number three, Netflix Roulette. This one was featured in a recent video on our channel, so I'll keep this short. Sometimes it can be difficult to find a show to watch on Netflix, so let Netflix Roulette pick for you. On netflixroulette.net, just select your criteria from the options, then click on spin. It will suggest a show or movie that you can watch. To watch now, just click watch on Netflix. Number four, Netflix categories extension for Chrome. Many of you are familiar with using Netflix codes to search less visible Netflix categories. You don't have to use codes anymore. Now there's a handy Google Chrome extension called Netflix Categories, which will search the categories for you with no codes. A direct link to the extension is in the description. Once installed, click on the extension icon. Your favorite categories will appear at the top by selecting the heart to the far right of each category. Select all categories. Then select whichever category that you like to see which shows from that category are on Netflix. Number five, Netflix Best Of. Here's a cool subreddit to check out. It's called Netflix Best Of, and it's a good place to find out about shows or movies on Netflix. You can choose from different categories here from hot, new, rising, and controversial. Also, you can discuss programs that are of interest to you on here. Number six, Keyboard shortcuts. There are several keyboard shortcuts that you can use while watching Netflix. For example, you can use the enter key or the space bar to toggle play and pause, and you can use the left or right arrow keys to rewind or fast forward. The full list of keyboard shortcuts are in the description. Number seven, subtitle appearance. For those of you that watch a lot of foreign programs, tweaking the subtitle appearance may be worthwhile for you. Head back to your account, select Subtitle Appearance. Here you can change everything from font, text size, and shadow. Experiment with these to see which settings work best for you. Number eight, minimize buffering. There may be times when you're watching a program on Netflix and you keep getting the dreaded buffering icon. Instead of exiting the program to go to settings to change the video quality, you can change the audio and video quality while streaming. This one is tricky. Hold down the Control, Shift, and Alt keys all at the same time, then press S to bring up the bitrate menu. Select lower numbers for audio and video bitrate, and then select Override. Hopefully this will give you a smoother streaming experience, 
To change things back to normal, select Reset. Number 9. What's New on Netflix There are several places on the internet to find out what is new on Netflix. A site I like is whatsnewonnetflix.com. The site should default to your country. If not, select your country's flag listed at the top if it's available for your region. It sorts releases from top to bottom starting with the newest releases at the top of the page. Number 10. Stream them and leave them. We just showed you a site for what is new on Netflix. Now we'll leave you with a site that shows you what is leaving Netflix soon. On the site nowstreamingpod.com, they show you what is leaving Netflix each week so you have one last chance to watch these programs before they're removed from Netflix. That concludes our list of 10 Netflix tips and tricks. All links, keyboard shortcuts, and instructions to access the bitrate menu are in the description of this video. Of course, there are many more tips out there to make your Netflix viewing experience better. If you know of one, let us know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to click the subscribe button below for more streaming and cord cutting videos from Tech Gumbo.